education. A practice makes perfect, right? We can all agree that we want our doctors and nurses to be as perfect as possible when we're their patient. A new simulation center at LDS Hospital will help those in the medical field perfect their skills. Fox 13's Max Roth has the details. One, two, three. At a ribbon cutting ceremony at LDS Hospital, scalpels were used instead of scissors. The new Intermountain Simulation Center ranks up there with similar facilities at Duke University and Johns Hopkins. Medicine is advancing and the technology in medicine is advancing every day by leaps and bounds. And in education, we need to be able to keep up with that. Simulation is one of those ways that we're doing that. The patients are mannequins, but they breathe, blink, and even talk. On this day, the patient is admitted to the ICU. Hey, Victor, I'm Amy. I'm one of the nurse practitioners here on the ICU team. Looks like you're not feeling very well. The patient rapidly deteriorates, needs a breathing tube. His heart rate and rhythm changes, and he goes into ventricular fibrillation. Doctors and nurses perform CPR, give chest compressions, and shock the patient with a defibrillator. It prepares you more for real life so that when you're actually in the situation, you've been through something similar and you're able to run through it and be more confident and have a better outcome for the patient. There is an operating room simulator and an intensive care unit. There's room to practice home health care and labs to practice all sorts of medical procedures. We can listen to breath sounds, we can feel pulses, we can put an IV in them, a chest tube, we can intubate them, we can do everything on this human simulator for the most part that we could on a real person without risk. Max Roth, Fox 13 News, Utah. It's really neat. That 10,000 square foot facility is based at LDS Hospital, but doctors, nurses, anyone who cares for patients at all 22 IMC hospitals will be able to train at